Hi friends, here is my bench workout from today. I haven't benched in a really long time, so it kind of feels like starting from scratch. Uh, but all in all, things went really well, and I think that my strength will come back probably pretty quickly. So what I'm going to do is, for my training, I'm going to have two leg days per week. Two squat days, I guess, if I want to change how I'm talking about it. One back day, and one shoulder rear delt day, one bench one bench tricep day i'm mixing it all up but anyways so that's how i'm going to kind of do my split one of my squat days is going to be paused buffalo bar one of them is just going to be regular same with my bench one week i'll pause the next week um i'll just do touch and go so a few ideas just kind of swirling around my head and all and all. i'm pretty excited it's just going to take a little bit to kind of get back into the groove of or i guess the mindset of no i'm training for strength training to feel better and training just to feel strong and happy but uh yeah this was pretty enjoyable <clears throat> bench workouts are always kind of uh i like I, I like to do them at the end if i've had already a few workouts in a row because just for me right now especially when i'm not super strong they don't take quite as much energy physical emotional or otherwise uh, but i certainly still push myself and uh and and i like the outcome oh watch until the end i've started my intro started was so boring that everybody my view duration is going to be five seconds but anyways please watch until the end um so some good things one um i started talking to an old friend again because uh we got into an argument like i'm sure many people did with friends at the beginning of the pandemic because we disagreed on things and got into an argument and hadn't really talked since and then for whatever reason i had a dream about him and i just reached out to see how he was doing and now i've been talking and what's really exciting is that he might be willing to um be on my <laughs> this is going to sound so dorky <laughs> he might be willing to be on my stardew valley farm <laughs> well i mean he's not super committal but he also didn't say no <laughs> so on stardew valley i can build a log cabin so a friend can stay there and he says he thinks he has stardew valley in his steam content already um he hasn't really played it but i'm really excited because i'm gonna build a log cabin i'm gonna show him what it looks like and maybe he'll stay on my farm even just a little while It'd be so exciting <laughs> It'd be so exciting just to have um, somebody staying on my farm. So that just kind of put me in good spirits, um, which I guess my <laughs> simple things, for whatever reason, simple things appease very complex minds, apparently. Um, and on another note, I have decided to go back to school, which should have probably been the first most exciting thing and not the fact that somebody's going to live on my Stardew Valley farm. <laughs> I have been looking for programs to take at school, I want to say for, for years, and every time I read things, I feel like the description of the course alone is enough for me to want to take a nap because it sounds so boring, and that's just for me is that it's like, well, if you want to be an adult and be a professional, you have to do boring things, but it's like, I can't even read this. This is the most boring thing I've ever heard. I don't want to take all this crap, so every time I look for things, it was just mm, nothing really um, interests me, but... I found something through the same school that I turned my learned my sign language through. It's a child and youth counselor diploma program. So I can do it part time. So then I can start to look for um, work that's part time and do it at the same time. And then I can learn to help uh, troubled youth and work in a variety of different settings from schools to different youth shelters. And uh, then I can just help some kids going through some rough time and um, I don't have any self-doubt about it and it's been really hard for me to make decisions and to believe in them and this was the first time that I had absolutely no hesitation and nothing but excitement so until we talk again friends bye